We say that 2016 is a year in which we can draw a line in the sand and say it's time to build a real alternative. That we're not going to be uh, fear-mongered into uh, abandoning our principles. That is, in fact, for me, is an insult when people tell me that as a black person, I'm supposed to be scared of a Donald Trump. I say, you don't understand our history, and you don't understand who we are as a people. To say that we are not going to survive, and we are supposed to be afraid of uh, Donald Trump for four years, that to me is insulting. <coughs> you know? We understand that we're going to have to struggle and fight regardless of who wins. If Donald Trump wins, we have to struggle and we have to fight. If Hillary Clinton wins, we're going to continue to have to struggle and fight because the systemic racism is going to continue. Okay? The only question becomes, where will our allies be if a Hillary Clinton wins? And I argue that history suggests that our allies are going to remain sleep and quiet because we saw that during the eight years uh, of your first black president. There was no opposition, no struggle, why he took the black community to the political right. And we uh, uh, expect, I expect, for that to continue, okay? So for us, it's gonna be struggle regardless, you know? It's almost like what Donald Trump uh, said. He said, what do we have to lose? <laughs> you know, that part was that actually true. We have to lose is our dignity, our self-respect. It's time for us to say we're gonna stand up and struggle for our own interests and create a new world. So my friends, in a nutshell, that is what we are doing with this campaign. And we are in fact uh, uh, building momentum. Uh, more and more people are beginning to come toward this Green Party. And we're going to contest because this Green Party, this alternative is really the wave of the future.